Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The Inspector General's office uh, has issued or is started an investigation uh, into the Department of Justice and specifically into FBI Director James Comey's conduct prior to the election. Some are saying this is reopening something that has already been closed, but Democrats are hot on this. For an update on that investigation, we are joined appropriately by Fox News Chief Washington Correspondent James Rosen. What is this, James? What is this about? Tucker, good to be with you. Many Trump supporters, conservatives, and legal experts tonight are questioning the timing and particularly the scope of this investigation into the conduct of FBI Director James Comey that will be carried out by the Justice Department's Inspector General. Chief among these skeptics is the president-elect himself, who tweeted before dawn, and I quote, what are Hillary Clinton's people complaining about with respect to the FBI? Based on the information they had, she should never have been allowed to run. Guilty as hell, Mr. Trump said. They were very nice to her. She lost because she campaigned in the wrong states. No enthusiasm. Investigators will probe Comey's public statements about the Hillary Clinton email investigation, the torrent of leaks out of the bureau this past fall, and the letters that Comey sent to Congress just days before the election, reopening and then closing the case again. Observers from disparate points along the political spectrum today urge Comey to resign. I think it's hard to be a director of such an important institution uh, when that trust is no longer there. I think the, the, the faith of, the, of the, uh, uh, the people of the FBI is somewhat shaken in their leadership. And uh, I think the, the faith of the country is, is, uh, in, in the director of the FBI is somewhat perilous. Um, given all of that, I think the, he ought to spend more time with his family. The IG probe will notably not include the conduct of Attorney General Loretta Lynch, who was forced effectively to recuse herself from the Clinton email case when it was disclosed that the Attorney General had met privately with former President Bill Clinton. Many Republicans see the IG probe as simply an attempt to delegitimize Mr. Trump before he takes office. If the scope is indeed limited to uh, the director of the FBI's conduct, then I think they have a point. I mean, why not look at the entire circumstances here? Uh, why not look at what Attorney General Lynch did and uh, the meetings that she held, her non-recusal recusal. I think that's all very important. So in short, Tucker, you ask me, what is this all about? Uh, experts I've spoken to said that, yes, Director Comey's conduct throughout this case at very key decisions he made at various points are precisely the kind of thing, especially in such a high-profile case, right. that an inspector general would investigate. But it is the circumscribing of this case, uh, the sort of narrowing it just to Comey, that bothers conservatives. Right. Where's the Loretta Lynch component? Among this? other things, yeah. Among other things. James, thanks a lot. You bet.